everybody. This is Brent. Welcome to the North American Leadership Series. Glad to have you here. And um, uh, by the way, if you hear some horns going off and little funny noises, that's as THC has they going off all over the cloud to celebrate New Year's Eve here. It's kind of fun. So uh, you will from time to time hear a horn or something shaker going off. So, uh, hey, hopefully everyone had a great Christmas. Uh, and by the way, a lot of people are looking for the RE Tech. I told you two weeks earlier, uh, they switched the name. Obviously, all of you figured it out. You got the email, you're here. But people have not gotten the email or wandering around campus going, where's the RE Tech? What are we calling this now? What is it called? The University of The EXP University Auditorium. New name, same place, but if you didn't know that, you can't make it, but I'm preaching to the choir, you guys are here. So happy new year, 2018 is about to be history, and 2019 doesn't have to be a mystery. We're going to have a great year, and a lot of that comes up with having a concrete, clear vision, and a plan with execution, and uh so my guest speaker today, who's at Starbucks, and he's been around since he He's at Starbucks, logging into their um, Wi-Fi, and he'll be here any minute. So when he gets here, I will introduce him. But today it's all about, you know, what are you going to do in 2019? How many homes are you going to sell? How many will be listings? How many will buyers? How many people are you going to sponsor? You going to just signing up ten people for that? Will change your life. Literally, that will change your life. If you work with them, you can easily turn that into something that's making you five or ten thousand a month outside of real estate sales. So hopefully that is a big part of your plan. Aha, we have him, I think. Is that Mr. Uh, no, no, that's Robert Harris. Hey Robert, how you doing? Anyway, so that I got tricked. I thought that was Rick Cheehawk coming up. So um, if you click on one of the seats there, Robert, you can grab a spot. So um, what we're going to do is be talking about having a plan, having a, you know, you know, goals, having clear vision, like what exactly do you need to do, when do you need to do it, and how is it going to get done? So um, we have a business planning clinic coming up this Thursday in Sacramento, and if you're within three or four hours, and get in your car and get here. It's gonna go from one to four, it's gonna be amazing. Now, if you're not in Northern California, go get away for the day, not an hour or two. I mean, go to one of your favorite places on planet Earth. I go to Tahoe a lot. I'll go to downtown Sacramento in some trendy building and sit there for six hours drinking coffee, getting all fired up, maybe over lunch, and we'll work on business planning for the following year. Strips here in the room. James, how many years have we done that for now? Uh, for the last probably seven years. For about seven years, way before you speed. I've been doing that, you know, I've been doing that for 22 years. You've got you got to, I'm still looking for Rick to see if he sneaks up behind me here. Um, probably working on that Wi Fi at Starbucks. But here's the deal you've got to have a plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail by definition. Uh, what's another great saying? If, if more people spend time uh, planning their financial future and their wedding and their vacations, if they spend more time planning their wedding and their vacations than they do their financial future. He's here, Rick Chiha. Uh, say, well, welcome everybody. Rick, good to have you here. Um, you got your mic on? All right, all right, all man. So walk up here and then turn and face the crowd a little bit because they're looking at your backside. And, we don't want to get them too fired up before New Year's Eve here. So, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah, my Yes, yes. Although in the EXP, everyone's backside looks pretty good because well, everybody's fit. <laughs> so, well, welcome everyone. So, I've been giving them a little bit of a taste. Uh, 100%. 100%. So for those of you who don't know Rick Deha, he has um, been in the real estate field for, I think, maybe 60, 70 years now. I don't know, a long time. Just kidding, Rick. But he's been doing it forever, longer than me, and I'm at 22 years. How long have you been doing this? 
39 years in May. He is more fit than I am and still plays hoop, but he's just a beast. And uh, look, he looks, he's got the body of a 25 year old. So, uh, and he's highly successful in real estate. He's in the San Francisco Bay Area. And if you know it, closer to Concord, Danville, Pleasanton, Walnut Creek, Lafayette, right in that area. And uh, San Ramon, if you know the whole 680 corridor there, he's closer right in there. And um, he was, when I was at Keller Williams team leader back in 2009, 10, I heard all these speakers and they were good. They were phenomenal. Then I heard Rick Tihon and I went, oh my God. After hearing him speak, I no longer ever want to speak again. He's that good, that talented. You put him on a stage, look out. So um, he went on to become, weren't you a master faculty trainer for Keller Williams, Rick? Yeah. Absolutely. And then you owned, uh, you were either owner or part owner of four or five franchises. Seven. Yep, seven franchises one part, which was a blast until it wasn't a blast. Until the, the market corrected, then they became like millstones. Right? They were like millstones tied around your neck and you were drowning. I think at one point, you were on the hook for what, uh, you and your partners for a couple of million dollars of unpaid rent or something? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. One, one point three million. That must have been fun. That, that, that kept you up at night, right? I used a lot of words to tell you now. <laughs> okay. So, but you were able to get yourself disentangled from all those franchises, shut them down, get people to buy you out, whatever it took. And, um, and so you're now, not only do you sell real estate at a very high level, and uh, by the way, if you have any, you know, one to $10 million properties in the San Francisco Bay Area, Rick's a great person you can refer to get the job done. I'm sure you'd be willing to pay him a referral fee, right, Rick? <laughs> no problem. That's Rick Gia, G E A J. But um, you're also a coach now with Workman Business Solutions. Did I get that right? Yeah, Workman Business Solutions. I'm a coach. I used to be speaking on my own, and I also used to be speaking for Workman. And you and I do a lot of stuff for fun, too. We've been doing this for how many? You and I have been working together off and on for probably eight, nine, ten years, right? Right. So on that note, when I saw the webinar, one of the first people I called was Rick Chiha, and uh, when you finally actually slowed down, you told me no at first, and then I, I politely pushed a little and said, but have you seen the webinar, to which you said, I said, what? Exactly. So I said, oh, that explains it. You're like, that explains what? I go, why well, you're talking to me this way? Because you're saying no to something, you know what you're saying no to. And you, then you took it like a challenge. Like, well, fine, send me the webinar. I'll watch it. And you did. And then uh, do you remember what you texted me when that webinar was over? Yeah, Two words. That's it. No questions. You're the only person that has ever not asked me a question and just said, I'm in. You're, you're the only one. You saw you You just caught it instantly, didn't you? Yeah, you just kept coming to the end of it. You said, remember, don't watch the last slide. Remember, you didn't watch the course of that last slide. <laughs> I love it. And today you sponsored how many on your front line in the last year and a half years? 21. 21. And that has led to what? 80, 100, 150? How many people in your group? 400. Are you serious? I was actually teaming up with softball. I honestly thought it was 250. I cannot keep up with this stuff. You have 420 in your group now? Yeah. My, my wife uh, helped me with Rick, don't take this personal, but I love your wife. She is amazing. So, uh, so she up, how does she update you? What does she say? You just give me the numbers every day? Yeah, she watches them all. 
<laughs> we'll even go from 21 to 25. We just have four more to go to unlock your sixth level. And that's 2,000 an agent for every agent on your sixth level. And you guys didn't plan this, but what the heck? Let's go there. Do you know how many agents are on your sixth level now? Probably not that many. Uh, 80. So let's say let's say 40 of them are cappers just for kicks and giggles times 2,000. That's 80,000 a year you're going to add to your annual income just by signing up four more agents for EHP. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, my wife knows the numbers by heart. Everybody on the level that I'm not, um, I That's pretty good. So, <laughs> so she's like, got the whip out and go, yeah, you know, go, go, baby, go. Uh, I know, well, um, at least Casey's pretty. <laughs> that is true. He's over here listening right now. Oh, yeah, this is trash talk. It's still New Year's Eve, I'll still run the dump truck over him just to fun. <laughs> So he's, yeah. he's laughing over there. All right, well, let's get into it. So I want everyone to have a background on who you are. And he's uh, Rick's with the XP, 21 person sponsored, 420 in your organization. And um, you tend to follow that income wise the following year, which means this year, theoretically, you should make at least $420,000 in revenue share outside of real estate sales. It's, is that a fairly significant income after your three years at EXP? At the end of the year, you'll have been here for three years for you, Rick? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, right. Now, recently, you were talking to your coach, and he has a coach. Rick, even though he is a coach and a master faculty trainer, has a coach. And your coach was telling you that, um, you know, you guys were really drilling down on some personal stuff. And he really challenged you to start coming. You've kind of gotten away from it, just made it about the cap and earning money with revenue share. As far as when you were talking to people about sponsoring them, and today's meeting is all about sponsoring and, and building your revenue share income by building your organization. He challenged you to start coming from where, and, and, and then you noticed a huge difference when you implemented what he told you. Would you share with everyone a little bit about that? He 
said, well, we didn't get a come. And it wasn't a week later I got text messages from two people out of nowhere that said, okay, I see the light. It's time. I'm coming over. I hadn't done a 10 minutes follow up with them or anything other than follow up like not long before that taking call. It just started and it hasn't happened until today, tomorrow. Uh, I've got people calling me, okay, we got to talk. And then people keep writing me answers. I'm ready to. I'm ready to make the move. And, you know, I call these seven real estate offices. I know that December and December are just not great for moves. And uh, it's really helped. And I'm going back to the data because the data is the best why they tell me when to leave and just help me do all the other ones. And it's really. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And still come from contribution. You know, help people. Uh, regardless, help agents at Cobalt Baker, even if they're never going to come to XP, help them. Help people at Remax. Help, help the secretary at your dentist's office. Just you know, be a giver, not a taker. Come from contribution. Be a life enhancer. All that good stuff. I love it. That's who Rick Tihon is. By the way, I never finished my train of thought, but he is my favorite all-time speaker at Keller Williams, and I'm so blessed and honored to be in business with you here at EXP and have you a part of this. Just stoked, and I'm so happy that you have 420 agents headed to 4,000, a few hundred agents. So it's going to be pretty cool. I remember last year we had 1,000, and this year we're ending with well over 4,000. So I'm just telling you, that's that's some nice growth. Um, if you just have the growth that we experienced, it's going to be at 1,600 to 2,000 agents next year. Where do you, James is the numbers guy. Where do you think he'll be next year? Just the big picture. He's at 420 now next year, theoretically, what school is it, a couple thousand? Uh, yeah, 1,600. Yeah, yeah, 15,000. Uh, 1,500. 1,500. Yeah. He, he said 15,000, but he meant 1,500 to 1,700 agents next year, which should kick out about a $1.5 million income and rev share if you're at 40. That's pretty cool. So let's get into it. Um, today, you should be talking about what to say to people. How do you get them interested in EXP? How to sponsor people. We're going to go a little different route with you today because it is New Year's Eve, December 31st. We just wrapped up 2018. You definitely need to be reflective. You need to go away with a cup of coffee, hot tea, whatever your thing is, and think about what did you achieve this year that you liked, and what did you achieve this year that you didn't like. In fact, um, let's see if I can find this. I don't know if I have I saved it. I did not. Um, but um, I'll come back to that thought. But um, but basically, here's your chance to really know what do I want to achieve in 2019, and we want you to come up with a business plan. Like how you're going to acquire buyers, sellers, uh, listings. You know, what, are you going to hire your first assistant? Are you going to buy your first investment property? Are you going to participate in flipping? And obviously, a part of that is is how many people you're going to sponsor for the year. Maybe it's 20. So you divide that by 12 and you got, you know, one point, whatever it is, a month, seven, five, and then you break that down to weekly. So Rick, let's talk a little bit about goals, uh, business plan, objectives, clarity. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of unleash you to talk to them about, you know, what they need to be doing. Then, of course, you can invite them in Northern California to our business planning clinic this Thursday, one to four, but go ahead and kind of run with it. Okay, great. Yeah. We only have one year in California. Mm -hmm. We really want to get some points across for a year. Somewhere along the line, you want to start making some decisions. You know that you're physically free. And what happened is this guy who was coming to me to our clinic that if you, uh, if you set a goal and miss it at this site, you can't pick it up for our tools. We believe that it is a choice to take that care of it. And I decided, I started deciding in 2000. I wanted to set goals that were so dear, so dear, so dear. I was nervous that they that they really, really caused me anxiety, that they caused me to think bigger and create bigger activity as a result of it. But also, I didn't start believing that if I set a goal and hit it, the goal was too low. And really, what I wanted to do was set a goal so big, so dear, and so audacious that even when I miss it, it's like farther than I've ever been before. I love it. That has to be a choice on your part to elect to think like that. That's all it is. It's a, it's a decision to say that I believe that I can think uh, that 
I can be a great leader and facilitate that even when I miss so much work, I can do it and I was still ever that much, right? Um, I was coaching some friends, but then they were free, didn't taking good care of a couple of them so much. Their goal for they did they did set the two transactions. Wow. I love it. I love it. So if, if people are out there, you know, A, should they hire a coach? B, should they leave here and either go immediately and start planning the rest of the day? Or if they're too busy showing property, set aside some time to really think about what it is they want to do this year. What advice do you have for them? Just they go, man, I haven't got a set direction. Yeah, well, I would. I would say thank you for that. That's a great question. You have to take a look at the mirror and acknowledge your demons. If you are not willing to do that, then you're ignoring that there is you that's keeping you from your dream goal. You, you know your demons, you know your habits, you know what you will do and won't do. So whatever I know is a weakness of mine, I find other people to hold me accountable to. Yes, I have a coach who cost me thirty five hundred dollars a month for two calls. But you know what? Pushes me to where I'm uncomfortable. How much? Whoa, whoa, back it up. How much? Thirty-five hundred a month for two one-hour calls. Oh, 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 oh. Love it. I love it. The more you pay, the more you. What's the saying? The more you pay, the more you pay attention. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Paul, right? Thank you, my wife. She's coaching literally thousands of people all around the world with her business. Right. She's my blind spot. She holds up mirrors for me. She gives me the respect of my knowledge and says, This is what I'm seeing. Is that what you were hoping for? So, without driving me or drilling me about what I am or what I'm not doing, she says, Well, this is what I'm seeing. What you're going for. So, there's lots of ways you can build accountability. Ask your friends to hold you accountable. If they didn't know they'll be good at it, you won't find them complaining. You don't cost that. Free to you or do it less. Surround yourself with people who can see you do you and you see yourself. And then you also let people know that you see that you I'm going to stop right there. All right. No, that's beautiful. So this Thursday in Sacramento, California at Fox County Board of Realtors, you and I are doing a business planning clinic from one to four. I wonder if we should somehow stream that or record that and make it available to everybody in this room. What are your thoughts on that, Rick? Or or what, any thoughts? Is that doable? Or yeah, I think that would be the best thing ever. Is that possible? Rob, Rob, are you listening? Is there a way to, to make it private, like stream it live, but make it private to a Facebook? Group? We're planning on recording it and producing. It so we're gonna we're gonna record it, produce it, and get it out to everybody. Okay, we'll do that. Let's do it. That's so for those of you like, well, yeah, people are clapping in the audience. 
Brent Conway's clapping, Rebecca's clapping. They're, they like this there, Rick. So you and I are going to co-lead that business planning conference. It'll be 70% you, 30% me, but we are going to rip the cover off the ball and um, everybody's going to walk out there with the business planning, a business plan, a clear set of objectives, um, a road to follow, a roadmap to success. So invest the time. I've been doing this for my 22 years. You've been doing this for 39 years. So um, it's going to be good. And um, please attend that. If you have not registered, register now. You can be there live uh, in person. The you know, contact us. You don't have the thing, but again, it's uh, this, this Thursday. And and I know Rick, you have to. Uh, I know you had to step out five minutes early. It is exactly. Thank you, Rick. Eric. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, um, and if you get a bail, bail. The last thing I want to do is talk about Scottsdale. We sold out this weekend. We had a huge room box. Every room is gone. It was two eighty nine a night. Uh, now it's five eighty nine a night. If you didn't, I don't know why you didn't reserve a room, but if you did, don't beat yourself up. Maybe there's somebody you could share a room with. Um, and uh, but the who's who of the XP's one in Scottsdale. You think, oh, I can't afford it. Just get yourself there. We'll find someone you can share a room with. You can make it affordable, but come. Um, we're opening up to everybody. Uh, so, yeah, you know, well, I have to have seven. No, you don't. I'm, I'm inviting everybody to come. If you want to come, come. Do register online. If you don't have a registration link, get a hold of us. We'll get you one. It is uh, food and beverages included. Um, yeah, not sit down meals, but hand food and drinks and everything you can dream of. And it's uh, for three days, it's $99 for the event. Glenn Sanford will be speaking this year. Don't miss it. So it's coming up January uh, 14th, 15th, and 16th. I had someone, oh, it was Rick, right. you're speaking on the 14th at, at it's for Sacramento for the Board of Realtors. I go to fly out Tuesday morning because it doesn't start till Tuesday at 3. Monday evening is a big party. What is it, 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock? It's, yeah, it's at 7 o'clock. Big party Monday evening at 7. Social, meet and greet. So that would happen Monday nights. But if you can't make that, it just fly out Tuesday morning. It starts, uh, we have a golf tournament Tuesday. Non-golfers will head over to the spa or just sleep in, have breakfast at 10. It's going to be great. Our event actually starts at 3 p.m. on Tuesday. And then it ends at 1 p.m. Someone's got to mute your mic. And then it ends at 1 p.m. on Wednesday. So if you want, you can make this a one-nighter. Fly in Tuesday, fly out Wednesday, you know, four, five, six in the afternoon. You can really go for one night. But come, but you got to register because eventually the registrations will sell out. And then you can't come, period. So it's $99. Please register today. And then get yourself an airline ticket, get out there. We'll find you somebody, you know, to share a room with. By the way, we identified three hotel rooms right outside the gates of the JW Marriott, which is like the Ritz Colton. It's my favorite resort in the world. Uh, they're Marriott Residence Inn, very affordable. And uh, you can Uber over within three minutes. They do have rooms available at the JW Marriott, but they're $589 a night plus tax. It's over 600 for the night. But if you're just going for Tuesday night and then Tuesday and Wednesday, then it's just one night. But you can get a room, but you no longer have the uh, the block rate of 289 because this is prime time, 72 degrees. The weather is blue sky. It's going to be great. And the who's who of these piece coming in, you're going to rub shoulders with agents that have hundreds and hundreds, thousands, and there'll be new agents. We have agents there who've been with us for three months and have over 800 agents in their rev share group in three months. And they're going to be speaking. We have 18 to 25 new speakers at this event. You're going to hear from people who are making 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 15, 20, 30,000 a month. 
and have only been with their company for six months, eight months, ten months. Not just these big people like Rick and people like me who've been around for a few years killing it. So come, come, come. You've got to be there. Again, if you need the link, email me brent at brickbuild.com and send it to you. And there's a link here in the public. If you go to the lower box on the left, James just put a link to where you can register for Scottsdale. Do it now. Take action now. And it's going to be a great event. And it is noon. That's what we got for you. We just want to say Happy New Year. You've got a lot to be thankful for from this past year and a lot to be grateful for. I look forward to in 2019. Let's kill it together. Rick, any final thoughts? Are you there? He's out. He just shut his book and left his avatar. No. Okay. <laughs> we love you guys. We love you guys. Happy New Year. See you in Scottsdale. Don't miss it. Woo! Out of here. Woo! See ya. Bye, guys.